Well, hello, welcome again to our reading of Homer's Odyssey, Book 3, and I got up to line 109. And so in the story, Telemachus has asked Nestor to tell him any news that he has of his father Odysseus. And Nestor says, oh, you've dragged up all of these unpleasant memories from the terrible things that happened in the war. And he begins to relate some of these here. And it's quite an emotional passage because included amongst those who died there was his own son Antilochus. And it's quite an emotional passage and quite a long one. I'll just do the first part of it in this recording. Uh, so he finished off the last bits. He said, then there, uh, as many as were the best men were slain. And then he continues to relate who they were. We get an nth men and an nth de and another nth de. So it's a called threefold riser. Greek likes to do things like this in threes. So there, Ajax lies. Or so there lies Ajax. Areos, well, son of Ares or perhaps descendant of Ares. Uh, in the de and there lies um, Achilles and there lies Patroclus. Theophin Maestor Atalantos. Now the Maestor is a noun, third declension noun, connected with the verb maidamai to advise. And this is just an advisor, so counsellor. Atalantos, much written on this, probably something like equal in weight. It's generally translated as, so a counsellor equal in weight to a god. Or to the gods, the Ophin. This is an old um, dative formation here. And there, uh, adding on to this, and there lies understood my dear son. Hummer at the same time, Krateros, mighty and Amumon. Well, I like to translate this as noble, but it's generally rendered as blameless. But uh, I prefer noble, I think, for this word. Uh, it's more of a, a, a word of status rather than any moral status, but status within the Homeric um, setup. So at the same time, strong and blameless. And then his name is kept to the next line, Ant Antilochus, for emphasis. Peri men theain tacos aedi maketes. Now peri with the accent here uh, is used in the sense of adverbial. Now we get an infinitive here. This is from theo to run. Uh, infinitives originally in uh, Indo-European linguistic thought were originally an old dative. So the peri is for perisos or excessively uh, swift in running would be, I think, the original mental sense of this here. So who was, it was extremely swift at running and... Uh, he was also, so we get the man, and there's the de here in the a de, and he was Makates, a fighter. Alatepo uh, epitois pathomen kaka. So epitois, in addition to these things, one of the usages of epi, in addition to these things, we suffered uh, many other kaka evils. So we suffered many other evils in addition to this. Tisken ekein apantage muthe saito katathneaton anthropon. So who, uh, now don't forget the particles, who in fact would relate, would speak, this is an optative, all those things, it's new to hear, all of the affairs of the men who are dead. So perhaps all of the accounts of the men who were killed. So who would who would be able in fact to relate all of the things, uh, all of those things of the men who were killed? Ude, not if, uh, in mm -hmm. fact, 
Paramimnon remaining here for five years. Probably the get with the Kai here. So not if remaining here for five years or indeed for six years, X Ereois, would you speak? This is an optative here, second person singular. Would you relate? Uh, Hossa goes with the Kaka as many evils as the glorious Achaeans, Pathon for Epathon from Pasco, suffered Kathy, this is an old locative uh, here, in that place. So he says, not if, if you remained here for five or indeed six years, would you relate all of the evils that the glorious Achaeans suffered there. Prin uh, ke aniethes sen patrida gaion hikoyo uh, before, so you'd have to do all that before, aniethes, this in fact is uh, an aorist passive participle here, it's connected with uh, ania, is the word for grief or pain, um, so th this means pained or grieved. So before grieved or pained, Hikoyo, you might go to your uh, fatherland, to your ancestral land. Hikoyo, aorist um, optative here. For Aina etes fin kakaraptomen and the epontes pantoiois in doloisi. Mogister etelles in cronio. For, for a period of nine years, um, now the Amphi Hippo, this is from Amphi Hippo, uh, we busying ourselves with all sorts of tricks, wrapped them in, literally, we stitched together evil things for them. So Greek likes to think about plot, plotting and planning. It uses the word arapto to stitch. So for a period of nine years, um, busying ourselves from, uh, from Amphi Hippo with all sorts of tricks, uh, we stitched together evil things, spin for spissy for them. Uh, there probably and the son of Kronos Etelese brought them to completion, Mogis, well, only with difficulty. And so with difficulty, it's almost the son of Kronos barely managed to bring all these things to completion. Enth utis potte metin homoi athemini antein aethel. So it finally gets to mention Odysseus here. So there... Utis, now the potty again is enclitic, so it's putting its accent back on tis, putting that back on the u. So this is the indefinite. It's like udes, but it's utis. So nobody ever, aethele, uh, wanted or wished homoi othemeni. So this is a... Uh, Perf this is an eris passive infinitive from homoi o'o, and I take it with the antain. So it means something like to uh, to buy or to match themselves opposite in respect of matis of cunning. So nobody ever wanted to match with understand him in cunning, since. Glorious Odysseus, and Nika, this is imperfect, used to um, prevail, Mala Polon going together here, adverbial, very muchly. So this is that neuter, so it's adverbial. So since Glorious Odysseus used to prevail against them very muchly, Pantoioisi Doloisi, which we've had up here again, uh, with all sorts of trickery. Your father... This is that uh, teos for sos. So your father, a etion gekenu engonos esi. This is an interesting little um, 
little phrase here, little sentence here, um, it sort of recurs through the Odyssey, especially in the early parts, where there's some kind of doubt put about as to whether Telemachus really is the son of Odysseus. Now, we know that he is, and he himself sometimes doubts it. It's just a funny little thing there that Homer's put in. So it, it's if, in fact, you are, yes, he's second person from Amy, you are, etion is an adverb, truly, engonos, the offspring, kainu, of that man. Well, we know that he is, but there's a sort of a little bit of doubt here, if you are truly the offspring of that man. Sebas me eke es oronta. Now, Sebas here is something like deep with So, deep respect holds me as I look at you. This is ace plus hor it's horao. We get various funny forms of the horao here. Um, it's a participle and it's. Um, uh, yeah, so it's accusative participle agreeing with me. So, Sebas, deep respect holds me as I look at you. E toi ga mu thoi ge e oikotes. Now, the e toi, sometimes written as one word, uh, meaning uh, indeed or in fact. So, for in fact, uh, now the uh, the words uh, and the get is quite emphatic here so for indeed uh, it's good to supply your words are uh, air cortes are similar understand uh, to him so for your uh, for your words are similar are like are uh, 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 like to him, in fact. Uh, nor, phiase, well, literally would you say, but this verb often, it's connected with phamy, it often has that sense of to think in Homer. So, nor would you think that um, a man, a younger man, it's a comparative here, we would probably just say a young man, but I think the Greek is a younger man, um, to speak uh, so similar, understand to him, Hodi, in this way. So something like, uh, so your words are similar, nor would, would you think that a young man would speak uh, uh, so like to him. Uh, this is probably new to plural here, such like things, so things so like to him. So your words, uh, nor, nor would you expect that a younger man would speak in this way the words that are so like his. Enth a toi eos men ego kai dios odysseus upoti, so for there is at Aitoi again, there indeed, a house when I and glorious Odysseus. So, uh, so for, for indeed, when I and glorious Odysseus, uh, neither ever aim for N in the uh, market. Or so in the assembly, nor in council, basdo men dika. Basdo is to speak, and none of these are the words of speaking. You get baxis, uh, is another word for a speech, and it's, they're poetic words. So, nor did we speak dika uh, apart, so at variance. So, neither in the, in the uh, assembly, nor in council, did we speak at variance, uh, but, now we get duels here, um, having one, the two of us having one mind, 
uh, uh, and uh, uh, and with shrewd counsel. Uh, no, hang on, I've got to get the not O here. Um, so we used to speak to the Argives having one thought in our mind and with uh, shrewd counsel we, well, it's we speak, so it's, it's actually a past tense, we used to speak to the Argives Hoppos, how the best things might occur, the best things, ok for ochre by far, how the best things by far might happen. So let me just perhaps do this again. Um, so the air is, is while, it's perhaps when there was uh, I and Odysseus, so that indeed, so there indeed, when it was I and Odysseus, Neither did we speak at variance ever in the um, assembly, nor in council, but the two of us, uh, having one mind, it must be in our thought and in our shrewd counsel, we used to speak to the Argives as to how the best things might happen, the best things by far, might happen. So we used to give them the best advice. So, so sorry, di slightly difficult little section there. Ata epe, um, but when, uh, now this is from uh, Dia Pertho, when we sacked the steep city of Priam and Bamin, we stepped or we went in the ships. So we would say when we boarded, in the, we got on board the ships. Theos, a god, uh, Ekedasen. Now this is from Kedanumi or Skedanumi is what you might know it better as. This is the aorist. Uh, you need a short syllable here for the sake of metre because it's Be, Men, Den, Ne, E, Si, Theos. Dekedas, so you need short syllables here. So it, Homer's used kedanumi rather than skedanumi, but they're the same thing. It means to scatter. In fact, it's cognate with our English word scatter. So the gods scattered the Achaeans, and at that time, in fact, Zeus made a tie devised a lugron noston, a woeful return home in his mind, a woeful return home for the Argives, uh, since uh, all of us, not esan for asen, so all of us were not in any way not amones, prudent or thoughtful, nor dikaioi just. To, uh, now to often beginning simply means therefore, uh, so therefore, um, uh, polees for, uh, this is for um, poloi, so many of them, uh, epespon, this is from that f hippo again to encounter, now the meaning of F, of F hippo, it's got a range of meanings here, it's to encounter. So many of them in many of them encountered Kakon Oiton, an evil fate. Many of them encountered an evil fate. Now we get X here meaning as a result of uh, the Oloes manios. This is the a genitive from manis of the destructive anger or wrath of the grey-eyed one. Again, debate about the translation of Grauk here. The grey-eyed goddess, she of a mighty father. Now that, of course, is referring 
to um, Athena here, I think. So, uh, so many of many of them, therefore, met with an evil fate as a result of this destructive anger of the grey-eyed goddess, she of the mighty father, that is um, Athena, uh, who placed Erin strife among both the Atreidae, so that is the two sons of Atreus. We get Toe. Now, Toe is here dual, so it's going with this participle. So the two of them, having called um, all the Achaeans, now I think we get a post-positive S here, this is S for Ace, but it's going with Agorain, into the marketplace, maps hastily or recklessly, but not catacosmo, not in any order, uh, at the setting of the sun from Catarduno uh, and they, the sons of the Achaeans, they came Bebar Aotes, this is from Barrio, it's a partis perfect participle here, it means weighed down oino with wine, so drunk with wine that's why it's at the setting of the sun. They've been drinking all afternoon. So they, the sons of the Achaeans, came weighed down with wine. Uh, and the uh, Muthes then, this is a dual optative passive, probably for the middle. So the two of them uh, literally spoke a word on account for which reason to explain why Agaran this this um, they had gathered the la on the people. So for which reason this is an aorist without augment. So they the two of them spoke a word um, telling them for what reason they had gathered the host, the people. And that is the next section of book three.